Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Can corruption be legitimized by common usage, legal process, or subsequent legislation? Transparency International publishes a yearly index of corruption, which measures the transparency of government activities and the accountability of public officials. Among the 2010 rankings are Germany at number 15, U.S. at 22, Taiwan at 33, and Italy at 67. In relative terms, Taiwan today is clean, in the top 20%, a model for others. However, for decades in Taiwan, tens of thousands of senior public officials received special allowance funds. These funds, often large, were for job-related expenses. They required receipts for one half and did not require receipts for the other half. In fact, standard practice treated these funds as a way of providing larger salaries without showing them on the public records, as official corruption and receipts were often missing. Scandals broke out in 2006 regarding almost all the major political figures. The current president was acquitted of embezzlement, and the former president is in jail for corruption. The political defense was customary usage. Everyone did it. The legal defense often was that laws were followed, receipts were provided. In 2011, the legislature passed the Revised Accounting Act, which absolved most officials of liability for misuse of special funds, if the misuse occurred before January 2007. What do you think? Is everyone did it a legitimate response? Was meeting the technical receipt requirements enough? Should old crimes go unpunished by legislative amnesty? Or is it more important simply to correct the abuse and move forward? This is Terence Hurley from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.